Alright guys, for this video we're going to install the seat die into position 3 of our tool head for our Dillon 550. Now, uh, the background looks a little different from the rest of the series because this is a redo. When I went to upload this video, it was corrupted, so no problem. This is easy. So this is the seat die. And there we see that it says seat die. Okay. So this die has two major parts. The first, which I'm unthreading, this is the seat stem, or you'll hear it called the cedar stem. Okay, let's go ahead and run the lock ring all the way up to the top so we have some downward adjustment on this uh, when we start throwing it into the uh, die body and then the second piece right here. That's the die body. Okay, so I put a lot of uh, a round count out with this, take care of them. It lasts you a long time, keep it clean. We're going to, once again, run this large lock ring all the way up, you know, just for good measure. Gives us room to adjust. And now take this seat stem and just thread it in, you know, about two turns. Now, I'm going to begin threading it into position three of the tool head. Now, this is how I do this, okay? This is how I do it. So, when we run the shell or the shell plate and the platform all the way up, once we're rolling on this Dillon, we're going to have a little bit of force all the way around this thing. So what I do with this seat stem is I just run it down until I'm making just the slightest contact with that shell plate and no more. You don't want to overstress your shell plate, okay? That's a that's a bad thing. Okay, right there. I'm just touching it, I'm not really putting any cam over into it. And now what I'm gonna do, you see it got a little movement on that die. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the uh, platform a little bit and I'm just going to turn this die like not much. Just enough to make it stand up straight. You see how it's standing up straight? So that's what I want. And I'm actually backing it off a little bit. I, I don't want much on that shell plate. Just enough that it stands up straight, okay? So now what we're going to do, I'm going to run this lock ring down. I'm going to take our handy wrench here, remove the tool head pin, tighten the lock ring, doesn't take a whole lot. And now the die body is locked into position. And because we locked it, with just a little bit of that shell plate against it, it's, it's perfect in that tool head, okay? So now what we're going to do, we're going to take our cartridge case and place it into position three of the shell plate. And then I'm going to grab a bullet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I always hold my bullets like this. And as I come up, I just slip my finger out like that. Keep that bullet as perfectly vertical as you can. Okay? What you want, you want this with the bullet. You don't want, you don't want this. Okay? You want this. When we do this with the bullet, we kind of mess our neck tension up, okay? So we just want it straight into there, slip it in there, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this 
seat stem down. So now we're touching, we know that. I'm going to lower the platform, and I'm just going to turn it about a turn, and maybe another turn, and that's all for now. I'm going to pull this out, and now I'm going to measure this. So we want a cartridge overall length of 2.250, and I am sitting at 2.282, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to begin making adjustments. 50 thousandths on the seat stem are, is about a turn. So half a turn is going to give me about, say, 25-ish. I think I want to back up a little bit there. Now let's see where we're at. That's just a guesstimation. Okay, I should have left it. Okay, I chickened out. So, But you don't want to overshoot it. So now what we're going to do, we're just kind of playing a game. And the game is we're just going to adjust down, bringing the uh, cartridge length in to 2.5. 250 we want it now I'm literally four thousandths away so now sneak up on it and that's how you sneak up on it okay so now that you have your um, your seat die set to the length you want it. Run the cartridge back up. Run this lockering down. And then we're going to tighten that lockering. It's not going to take a whole lot. Just like that. And now our die is set up. So once again, let's double check, make sure that while we were tightening everything, we didn't off adjust it. Honestly, if you're off a thousandths or two, I wouldn't worry too much about it, okay? Okay, but what you do want to do is you want to get good at dialing your seat die in. And um, just uh, to repeat uh, a little advice. It's better to adjust this down in smaller increments and sneak up on it than to get hasty and go too fast and go over. Learn to count your turns and learn to count your turns in fractions of a turn. Or, and in other words, if the turn on this um, stem is approximately 50 thousandths per turn, well, then a half is going to earn you about 25 quarter about 12 and a half right around there okay so as you're adjusting that be watching and counting how far you're turning relate that to how much you're moving it based off what your calipers read and you'll get it dialed right in okay guys and gals that's the end of this video god bless we'll see you on the next